Hi guys, today we're gonna be making a Therian mask out of completely cardboard. Let's get started. We're gonna start with what you're going to need for this project. First thing you're gonna need is some paper. I'm using one large sheet, but you can also use just a couple smaller sheets of regular printer paper. The scissors, a drawing utensil of some kind, pencil, pen, marker, anything will work. And then of course you're going to need a nice piece of cardboard. It'll have to be at least as big as your face with whatever ears you want on it. Okay. I'm going to take your piece of paper, um, if you're using printer paper, put it horizontally in front of you. Just sketching out a simple oval shape, and this oval shape should be somewhere around as big as your face. So if you were to break this down, it would have room for two eyes and a muzzle. It doesn't have to be perfect, it just has to be semi-oval shaped. Then from there, we are going to cut out our shape with a healthy border around it. Uh, just for reference, this is about how big I'm making mine. After you have your oval shape, we're going to fold it in half. And this is so that we can make it symmetrical on both sides. Now, we can cut out more along the border. I'm going to flip mine over, mark out the center between the middle and the edge, so about one fourth through, and sketch out whatever kind of eye shape you want. For this one, I'm going to do nice big eyes. Again, fold that in half. You're going to end up with a piece of paper that looks kind of like this, and this is our, going to be our pattern. So I'm going to label it base. I'm going to grab our paper again. And for the muzzle, you're going to want kind of a U-shaped form. And you can cut that one out as well. So this is a nice short one. It would be good for a puppy or a cat. If you wanted to do a fox or a wolf, you would extend that a little bit longer. If you wanted to do a bird, you would go like that. For this one, I'm just going to stick to the nice short one. What we're going to do is we're going to take this pattern piece and add a slit like this so that we can curve this over in the future for our shape. Lastly, uh, we need to make a pattern for the ear. So simply sketch out the shape ear you want. Again, this would make a good cat ear. If you wanted something bigger, you could make it bigger. Or something even smaller, you could make it smaller. I suggest looking at a reference picture of the animal that you're creating. It will help you best figure out what shape you should make that pattern piece. We have all three of these pieces now, and we're ready to move to cardboard. I have my cardboard here, and I'm going to take my base piece and I'm going to trace it onto the cardboard. Next I'm going to trace the muzzle. And of course two ears. Since our ears are not symmetrical we are going to have to take it and flip it to the other side so that we have one of each. Then we're just going to cut everything out.
If possible, use an X-Acto knife or box cutter around the eyes. Since I don't have that on me at the moment, I'm just using the scissors. I'm also going to take this and I'm going to bend it so that it fits around the face a bit better. Got the hot glue gun heating up. If you don't have a trusty hot glue gun, you can use Elmer's glue or tape. I recommend duct tape if you have it, that's going to be the strongest. Cut it on the round side, bend it in half, then bend it all the way down. Here is the final shape. We are then going to take our base here and glue this onto the base. If you want it to be angled downwards, you can trim the edges of these at an angle and then it will be downwards. So I'm going to add glue along the edge and then glue it onto here. I'm going to take the ear, the first ear here, and put glue along the bottom, the correct direction, like they're on the right side. Um, an additional step that you don't have to do is you can cut off some ear hoofs from the cardboard. add it to the sides if you want. So I'm gonna do that. Okay, two of these, same thing. Add some glue onto the outer edge and then apply it to the back. Now, this is almost done. I am going to cut out some little eyebrows. Um, it just adds a nice little detail. It's optional, but I think that it adds some depth, especially if you're just using cardboard and not going to fleece or felt it. Just tracing out a couple little ovals. I also recommend doing this with the nose. And we will glue those on real quick. To make a cat nose, You'll make a little arc like that and make it just like a little mushroom. So I have some yarn here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie two, uh, glue two pieces on. Um, you want them to be about the same length and I have mine about this long probably a foot foot and a half um, and you'll glue them on the back right here and here so to the sides of the eyes I'm just going to secure them with two little pieces of cardboard so I'll put a dot of glue on there and then just sandwich the cardboard together and that will help keep the string from falling off. So this is what the final mask looks like. I'm going to felt and paint it in the next video so stay updated. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments and I'll see you next time.